Folks, I want to share this new book, but uh, it is disturbing. Ghosts of a Holy War, Death in the City of Abraham. Uh, now, I'll preface this review with noting that when you look at the history of wars, the history of rise and fall of empires throughout the world, you see that we humans make progress over a period of 200, 300, 400 years, all right? But this is limiting us to the last 100 years, and it is disturbing. Let's go there. On August 24th, 1929, 3,000 Muslim men with swords, axes, and daggers went from house to house in the Jewish quarter of Hebron in the British-controlled Palestine mandate, shouting, Palestine is ours and the Jews are our dogs. They raped women and girls, killed infants in their mother's arms, mutilated the corpses of elderly rabbis and yeshiva students, set houses on fire, and stole everything they could. After the murder of nearly 70 Jews in Hebron, the British extracted the survivors in armored cars and told them not to return. Let's look at this final paragraph. Back in 1929, Miss Schwartz, who's the author of this book, writes, Hebron's Sephardic men were friends and business partners with their Arab neighbors. They drank turf Turkish coffee, smoked hookah, and played backgammon in one another's homes. Today, Hebron is divided into sectors controlled by the Israeli army and the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian mayor is a convicted terrorist who tells Ms. Schwartz that Jews have no historical connection to the Holy Land. The Israeli settlers live under armed guard. Ghosts of a Holy War is a good book about a bad mess. The winner will take all or whatever is left. Ooh. I hope that's not true. I, I hope that there will be a two-state solution that so many of us have been hoping and praying for for years.